What's up everybody, Paterman here. Welcome back to another kit combo. Um, the last video I feel like went super well. We had some great interaction, um, lots of good comments, and man, it was so good. And I hope that this one can be beneficial as well. Today, I wanted to share with you something that I have found to be successful for me. Um, early on, when I was interested in recording drums, I really kind of just tried to learn as I go, and I didn't do a lot of research on what it is I'm doing and how I can get a good drum sound when I record drums. And in this video, I wanted to share what I believe is the secret to recording drums that actually sound good. What I'm not gonna do is give an extensive walkthrough of the gear that I use. I will share the gear in the description of this video because I feel like that's a secondary topic. What I want to discuss here is when you have the gear that you love, how exactly are we gonna use it? What's the philosophy or the fundamental idea behind recording drums well? And if you're a drummer who's interested in recording drums, if you watch this video and, and hear me out, I believe that this is going to really help you if you are struggling with getting a good sound. I was so frustrated when I bought some microphones and an interface and I kind of understood how to plug it all in and get a sound recorded, but it sounded like garbage. And I was like, I have no idea how to make this sound good and I'm stressed because I'm watching these other drummers record good sounding drums in their videos and I just didn't know exactly how to get there. And it all clicked for me when I learned this secret. Everything comes down to the room. Like, if you can get a good sound in your room and record with a good room mic take, that's everything. Like around this room, I have two mics in the room. I have one right above my kit and then I have one back um, behind the camera. Those two microphones are everything in the sound. And I think a lot of drummers early on in recording have the expectation that, yeah, my drums sound a certain way in the room and I'll just kind of fix it when I'm mixing and when I'm recording the drums, but that's just not gonna happen. Like, you really have to be happy and proud of the way that your drums sound in your room. I have a lot of dampening going on so that I can better control the sound in this room. I have some, I think they're like moving blankets or they're sound blankets. I think I have four large blankets in this room and these really help deaden and dampen the sound so that I can better control what kind of sounds are going on in this room. And if you can get a really good room sound recorded, then you are going to have good sounding drums. You know, I've got a microphone here on my snare drum and I have two microphones recording my kick drum. The drums that are the closest to the kit are actually like kind of secondary in a way. Like it's really to fine tune or to, to bring up the levels of what sounds a little bit too quiet from just the room mics. So my advice would be, if you're starting your recording journey on your drum kit, then you really have to center all of your attention on the room. You need to play around with like, how close should my room mic be to the kit for it to sound good? And then once you have that like pretty decent and you're happy with it, put a second room mic out so that you can capture um, a little bit more of what's going on in the room. And then I would recommend getting your kick drum sounding a little bit good and then your snare drum. Because when you, when you start to edit your audio, which I use GarageBand on my, on my computer, you really want as little editing as possible. I do edit the mix, I add some compression, um, I use a couple of other plugins in the audio, but honestly, the sound that you're hearing in the recording is really only been adjusted a tiny amount. Like it's pretty darn close to what my drums actually sound like if you were in the room. 
And that's a piece of advice that I did not learn early on. I just thought like, eh, my drums sound decent. I'm just going to like hook up some mics and I'm going to learn how to turn it into an amazing sound while leaving the actual sound of my drum kit as sort of a secondary thing that I can worry about later. There's just really no magic behind it. I mean, there's some people who can turn the drum sound into magic, but I'm not a sound engineer. I need as much help as I possibly can. And if you can get your drums to sound good in the room and work with a room mic or two, you can make your drums sound good. This may seem super elementary to some people out there, but early on, I did not know that piece of advice. And now that I know that piece of advice, when I record my drums, the two room mics that I have in this room are everything. They get the majority of my attention and I make those sound as best that I can. And then I bring up the snare drum sound a little bit in the mix and I bring up the kick drum sound a little bit up in the mix as well with the room mics to kind of complement it and get a whole sounding sample. One of the main reasons why I wanted to share this is because I do want to encourage other drummers to record their playing. I love seeing on social media other drummers posting their grooves and their fills that they're working on. Not all of us are drum teachers and I don't really aspire to be a drum teacher giving drum lessons. I just love the drums. I love playing the drums and having conversations around the drum kit and meeting other drummers. I just want other drummers to be encouraged and support them in any way that I can as a drum bro to be like, man, get a couple of microphones and work around um, your room to get a decent sound, deaden the sound if you have to to help better control it so there's not a lot of ringing and a lot of echoing and just, just post, man. like. Just post what you're playing, post what you're proud of, what you enjoy, because I love seeing that on social media. So if this video kind of inspires a couple of other drummers out there, I would, I would love to hear about it. I hope this helps. Um, it's something that early on I wish I would have known, and I just kind of learned through experience how to get a good drum sound when you're recording. But I truly believe the secret to recording drums and making the sound good has everything to do with the room and your room mic. That is your primary focus, and it's something that has helped me tremendously. So that's what I wanted to say, and now I'll play a little groove for you.